The city of Glendale is a very safe neighborhood to reside in and a very safe city, and it is ranked in the first percentile on the California Healthy Places Index Clean Environment Scale. Brand Park, as seen above, is a clean park where many Glendale residents like to visit. We help both job seekers and uh, with, uh, with jobs, helping them find jobs, and we help employers to find staffing. We uh, help both sides free of cost because of um, your taxes. One third, we, you know, 30%, 20, between 28 or 30% probably have bachelor's degree or sometimes a very few percentage, maybe a little bit even higher than bachelor's degree. Once in a while, we'll get a funding that's called P2E, which is Prison to Employment. And so we do keep track of those who say yes to the question, have you uh, been incarcerated or um, have, you, uh, have you ever been to prison and all that. So that so that when we do get funding, we could put that population, uh, we can help that population either with uh, training or uh, possibly work experience or on the job training and, and use that grant for that particular population. We find mental health are, is an issue. Uh, with homelessness or um, we have some that are at the verge of homelessness due to their mental health situation so even when um, they do find a job their background isn't is a barrier um, they don't get cleared in a random testing um, they don't necessarily pass that so those have sometimes happen to be uh, uh, some of our, some of the barriers so ad addiction and mental health issues city of Glendale which um, um, has um, food resources um, if they have domestic violence issues then we refer them to a YWCA uh, which is another partner with us if they have mental health issues or or any kind of disability issues we also are partners with Department of Rehabilitation then we will re, uh, refer to them um, and and many other partners if they're English language learners um, we refer them to Garfield campus with Ghana Community College to pick up some ESL classes and so on and so on. So whatever happens to be a barrier, we do offer them resources um, either with one of our partners or just simple uh, searching and see what else is out there so we can refer them to. So do you rent or own the current place you're living? I actually own a triplex and I'm living in one of the units. Do you feel safe where you live? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, what factors do you consider when keeping a tenant to live in your triplex? Well, we usually do a number of things, including background checks and credit checks. You know, we, we like to have the people come over and we talk to them and see if they're all around good person, good candidate. Because, you know, I have two kids living on the property. Mm -hmm. You know, we got animals and cats and dogs, and we try to keep it safe here. Um, where do you usually purchase food? Do you have grocery stores that you like nearby? Yeah, we have a couple of grocery stores nearby. Um, I usually like to go to Whole Foods, you know, because um, for the babies, I like to get the milk there, the A2 milk. It's uh, very easy on the digestion. Yeah, it's easier for me. Uh, I mean, Trader Joe's or any of those other stores don't really have that milk, so it makes it a little inconvenient. But, you know, Whole Foods is great. Okay. And um, do you find that they're affordable and offer healthy options there? At Whole Foods? Yeah, they're great. Okay. And then do you feel like there's any time where you can't access certain foods in this area that you're currently living in? No. It's been easy. Yeah. I'm Dr. Howard Ufoya, currently a manager for CVS Health in Glendale, California. Can most patients in Glendale afford to pay their copay for their medication? At our location, we service the majority of elderly patients, along with community members who frequent urgent cares and local hospitals. Normally, our patients are Medicare, Medi-Cal patients, and they do not have out-of-pocket costs. And if they do have copays, 
they are not steep in price. With that being said, if there is a situation where our patient does have a high out-of-pocket cost, we have services such as coupons that we use to decrease the price so they could pay for their medication. The Glenville population, what would you say the most common language is spoken at the pharmacy? In our location, we have patients who speak Armenian, Korean, Mandarin, and Spanish, majority being Spanish and Armenian. Do you feel frustrated when patients require translation at the pharmacy? Language barrier is definitely an issue. And for that reason, I have brought on Spanish speaking pharmacists and technicians, along with Russian and Armenian speaking technicians who service our patients. This being due to the fact that when a patient has a language barrier, we, don't want, we do not want it to be a hurdle in them receiving the proper communication and counseling points. With that being said, while having these staff members, they gain the full trust of the patient and do help the patient reach their health target. Glendale, California is home to thousands of Armenians and the city of Glendale caters its residents by its composition of numerous Armenian eateries and Armenian churches. Do you see any community needs for additional health care considerations? With our population, we do have many patients who present with the common disease states such as cholesterol, diabetes, and blood pressure. We also service a lot of smoking cessation counseling points and services, products, oh. along with furnishing birth control to the local community. Thank you so much for your time. Anytime, thank you. So we just wanted to give a recap on our experience um, learning about the city of Glendale through our research and speaking with different members of our community. So we found that um, Glendale is in fact a very clean and safe neighborhood, very suitable for family living with plenty of resources available for food and healthy nutrition, as well as resources for employers and employees for job uh, satisfaction and job search. And um, Glendale has healthcare accessibility for their community, especially non-native speaking and community members of many different uh, walks of life. Um, so definitely a very positive experience learning about the city of Glendale.